All right, great. We're live. What's going on, everybody? How we doing? Big Fat Bastards, Big Fat Bastardettes, Kings and Queens. What's going on? Welcome back to the Worst Magic Arena stream. Uh, yeah, still in the Task Manager. Okay, let's close that. All right, boys. So, I really like Defiler of Vigor, man. I really, really like it. Wild to me that things like this are... Uh, are in existence, but we don't see them too much in competitive play. Uh, we know what it does, man. We, we really like it a lot. Um, but today we're going to focus a little bit on it whenever you cast a green permanent spell. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Obviously, that's the reason you run it. The most fantastical thing about it. But today, I'm going to pair up that ability with creatures like Halan and Elena here. Yeah, in mono green, it's easy enough to pair it up with these. And as a matter of fact, the last time we played it, we did. But Halan and Elena, it, it's pretty great pairing it up with Defiler of Vigor. Since it, it does have green in its mana cost, it does count as a green permanent, you know? So you do the uh, round of plus one, plus one counters with this. And goddamn, is there any better except there are plus one, plus one counters? There's not too many of them. There are some, maybe, but not too many of them. Uh, yeah, Halan and Elena is great. And then in turn, it's going to get bigger, and then it's going to hopefully buff one of our tramplers, no, Doomscar Warrior, Defiler of Vigor, right? Um, hopefully it's going to buff up one of those tramplers. I, I thought I had another one. I um I I must have forgot. Oh, right. I took out Jewel Thief for uh, this one. Okay, yeah. So it's going to buff up our tramplers and send in some ridiculous damage. Um, likewise, today with that Defiler of Vigor, whenever you cast a green spell, plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. I thought Luka might be interesting. It adds some, uh, some damage to to uh, my game today, where otherwise, if I didn't have this Luca, we wouldn't have uh, any damage, right? Um, I guess we could put in Coggling Idaro too. But uh, I like this guy, you know, because the minus four can let us do a, uh, a lot of damage. If we have some big creatures on the field, if Defile our Vigor made them big, maybe uh, these fucking map tokens made them big, who knows, whatever. However, uh, yeah, maybe we can get some gigantic, uh, some gigantic damage on people, right? Since I am running four Tribute to the World Trees, the minus one puts in three, uh, right? Three um, three creature tokens and the plus one is uh, pretty good. Uh, we probably mostly need the green mana of that today, but you know the red will go into a colorless mana cost. I'm pretty much uh, ready to go here. Let me uh, pull this up if anybody's interested, and uh, why don't we get going? All right, yes, Tana. Good evening, Johnny. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Thank you for stopping by. Ooh, let me get to the uh, store right fast. Let me see what's going on. Well, what if what if there's gold today and I don't know? Oh, I wouldn't want to miss it. Oh, okay. Well, if hey, if anybody's interested, you know, more than fifty percent off of some of these. Some of these, some of these are pretty nice. I was lucky enough to get this one when it was ninety uh, ninety five percent off. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I don't remember where that was. When or where? Up, oh, my bad. Wrong thing. All right, let's get into this. Uh, boom. Oh, Defiler's so awesome. Responsible deck building today, boys. We got six one drops. They're really good with Defiler, as always, because you tap out for Defiler and you can still pay two life for your green one drops. Get that round of counters before your Defiler of Vigor is... Summarily executed. I like it. Just before the stream, I took out, um, I think, one Rockfall Veil and one of the um, fast versions as well, and I put in two forests. Um, let's do this. Let's attack. I think we can put Canker Bloom down. All right, attack first. Yep, we want them to do something so we can probably resolve tribute. Okay, there you go. They fire away. So we safely resolve the best card. Actually, big fan MTG. Black Lotus is far as shut up. All right, um, let's see how exactly are we going to do this. Let's start with this guy. All right, let's uh, do this now. Ooh. 
Yes, please. As a matter of fact, that with four toughness will uh, grow this guy. Oh, they did that? Huh. We can deny them a draw. Should we do that or should we keep the canker blooms on the field? I might want to keep them on the field. Plant creatures. Yeah, there's quite a bit of, uh, yeah, plant creatures coming out. We just had a really nice one, Johnny, right? With that, uh, is it the Flourishing Bloomkin? Is that a plant? I know there's, like, Bristly Bill. There's a couple more that I'm forgetting. Yeah, man. Plant Tribal getting flashed out. Um, or flushed out, excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, do this, right? Uh, destroy target artifact. Just force them to, uh, oh, right, they can't use it now. They don't have two. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, hey, good. 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 Let's, uh, let's get this one down. We'll do this. Because we have one man land in here. Maybe we can put down a land that enters a... Uh, tapped. Whatever. No, we, uh, we make it so that they don't have any knowledge of our hand there. Awesome. Um, I'm going to get the land down first. Awesome. Uh, this. Oh, man. Well, I wanted to get the land down first. Just, I, I was thinking what counters are there. I, I guess make disappear wouldn't have worked. Or, yeah, so whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, done that. All right, let's... Uh, I might want Doomscar Warrior here. Let's start with this. Let's do this. Alright, yep, back up on itself, whatever, doesn't matter. Just give me the card, baby. Just give me the card. Gosh, a soulless value grind, and that's it. Um, we can possibly take that out of his graveyard if the uh, paleontologist survives, um, which I think is very good. Um, I think we should start by attacking at Jace. See if they fire off removal. I cannot believe that we just did that. I, I can't believe it. Um, let's do this. We have to get Memory Deluge out of their graveyard. All right, that gives us one more mana because we will uh, do this. All right. Yep, search for basic land. Thin out the library, no problem. Helps out our draws. Okay, let's do this guy. Ooh, Kami. Um, I don't know if I risk it against this guy. I, I I think that the uh, deadly cover up will come. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, yep. And turn. Put a white man on the field there. Yeah, destroy all creatures. Fine. Let's uh, do this right now. Is there anything that we want in here? Maybe this. It could get Takanumad. That is a pleasure. Just a paleontologist. Uh, let's do...
Wow, fucking Alka Seltzer. Um, if you have instant speed graveyard hate, you can fuck up the recursion of this. Um, let's get rid of I don't really know. I don't know if it matters at this point. Wow. <laughs> I mean he could counter us. Let's try it before combat. And we've been doing a lot of creatures. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd imagine he has a negate in there. Um, I think we're going to go for it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, well, still, we, we can fuck up his Alka-Seltzer here. But he has to block. Right, so he'll block, he'll do the thing, we'll exile it from his graveyard when the thing goes on the uh, stack here. So this is good. We're good, we're good. Uh, there you are. Hello. Right, he has the man land. Cosmetic style. I don't want to bring this idiot's attention to it, but <laughs> he does have it. Um, do we attack? Um, yeah, I think so. I think he has to block paleontologist, right? So I think we can maybe sink some mana um, into. I don't think we really need to do too much here, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I really don't think we need to do too much. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's get a tribute to the world tree around, maybe like a make disappear. I think I definitely want to drop this. Let's see if he has another uh, negate sitting in his hand. Once again, we played so many creatures, I figure they're just sitting in his hand there. Oh, he might, uh... Wow, okay, okay, good play. And we gotta do something, man. Uh, you know what? At least it draws us a card. A single card, assuming it doesn't get killed before the uh, second tribute resolves here. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, bastard. You fucking bastard. Yep, fine. Thins out the library. It also helps him out, right? Takes a card out of our library for mill purposes. We gotta get this tribute train going. You can be made Bro, fuck it. It's, it's gonna be this shit, boys. It's gonna be this shit. There you go. That's it. This, this game is over. He wins. He wins. It's, it's gonna be clawing and clawing and clawing for the barest of anything to happen. This guy will now have it handed to him in spite of us. That's it. Almost there, right? He mills triple uh, X cards. He's going to find another Jace. He, he will find the other one. He'll go consecutive minus Xs for the win. You know what? That's good. That's a start. We, we got to get really get it going here. Fine. Fine. Does that hit the field? Just, Dude, we need the cards. Wow. Wow. Can we find the Halan and Elena? Can we find the Halan and Elena? Um, let's do this. Let's because it's cheap and we draw two cards. <laughs> um. Yup. Yup. I cannot believe it. Wow. 
boys, I genuinely cannot believe it allowed us to do that. I cannot believe we didn't just draw a land there and lose. Like like a total asshole. <laughs> hey, you know what? He took his lump, dude. He could have conceded at instant speed. This, this dude here let us do that. Give him his credit. Cannot believe that we just did that. So happy with that. Boys, we actually found the Holan and Elena. We fucking found it. Thank you, Tana. Yeah, what a, what an emotional roller coaster. Look at those emotes in chat. That there's the emotional roller. Look at that. Look at those highs and those lows. <laughs> With the payoff at the end. How long has it taken you so far to do nothing, bro? Yeah, you're genuinely retarded. Bye. Hard pass. I would assume that's what he's doing on purpose. Guy's name is Ira Tata. Okay, I like that. It's a cool name. Rattata, one of the original 151 Pokemon. Ira Rattata. Uh, no. It's a win con, but it might be too far. If these guys get killed, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really, uh, really hurting for lands, man. Oh, I want nothing more than the land, of course. N nothing more than the gosh. Oh, no. We're going to resolve whatever we do. Dude. Land. I mean, honestly, fine. Because then maybe next turn, Canker Bloom, draw a card, find said land. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I mean, this game, we might need to play around open mana for Intrepid Paleontologist, right? I would say it's almost guaranteed to be squirming emergence here. Let's start with this. Let's find our land. Come on, dude. Ho, 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 ho. Yep. All right, does he have anything really good to reanimate yet? Feeling all right. I want the land so that I can um, exile this one from his graveyard and then also hold up a uh, another snipe, right? Land that enters untapped, please. I mean, we drew three intrepid paleontologists against this poor bastard just trying to run his squirming emergence deck. Like, yeah, all right, all right, yeah. We're going to start playing around. Is this an instant? All right, I, I might not be able to hate that out of his graveyard. Um, but I'm, I'm still holding open uh, two snipes here. I'm assuming he's doing the uh, flashback from Grave. If he does something else, I'll take that card out of his graveyard. Yep. Christian, yes, Mick Donger. What's good, baby girl? Oh, Christian, you, you caught me at a good time. What's good is the position I find myself in here right now against Squirming Emergence. I'm, I'm chilling with 
four open mana, two instant speed, graveyard hates, two intrepid paleontologists. Oh god, that's good, man. Welcome to the worst magic rare stream. Cruelty of Jix in their graveyard. Okay, I don't often see that in a squirming emergence sometimes, but okay. Alright, yep. Alright. Yep, sure. Sure. Bitter triumph. Oh, yikes. Alright, he's going to kill Paleontologist, right? Um, and is it lagging, or do you not know what you're going to, like, discard or pay three? Because if you discard something, I can... It better not be important. It better not be important. That looks important. Um, anything else? What else looks important? This looks important. He could reanimate that with Squirming Emergence. Let's get it out of here. Oh, it's... I'm, I'm having a great time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, we need the land, though. We actually really need the land. Or else I guess I'll sacrifice Cakerbloom to destroy this thing so that he can't mill, right? And then have a bunch of cards engraved. And probably something nice to uh, target, right? For Squirming Emergence next turn. So yeah, I... Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. All right. All right. Let's start by attacking. I'm hoping to get the two damage from C-Note Scout in. All right. We don't get it in. Fair enough. Um, Let's do this. End turn. Okay. Oh, portal to Phyrexia. Oh, man. Oh, you got... Oh, wow, you have nine cards in Graveyard. Your Squirming Emergence is going to work. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Yep, he, he, he knows. Poor guy, he's, he's had it used against him before. Oh, I hope he doesn't have another one of those <laughs> he knows he knows oh ooh. he can bring uh he can bring this one back to his hand yep all right well we're going to take the uh portal to fire out of his graveyard when he kills a uh, paleontologist at instant speed Wow, we drew three of them against this guy. Although, you know, he has also drawn his removals against them. So we got lucky, but, you know, he got a little lucky too there. All right. Let's get rid of... Uh, where are you? Hello. There you are. The play, when he has this going to Chapter 3 and... Um, Squirming Emergence in his graveyard is to let him copy and exile Squirming Emergence and then exile whatever its uh, target is. Um, let's start by attacking. Yeah, nice. Poor guy. <laughs> I'll say thanks. Poor guy. Yeah, it's the third one against him. You you have had the removals, though. You have hit your removals. All right. Yep, so allow him to do uh, Squirming Emergence, unless if it's the bitter uh, triumph. That all right? Yeah, we have to uh, we have to uh, stop him from doing that. Does he have? Hang on, hang on. Does he have anything else to return with this? He could. Uh, nah, I'm feeling pretty good. All right, let's. Uh, yeah, let, let's get rid of that. As long as he doesn't mill for two and get a portal into his graveyard and then reanimate that. Well, now he has three mana to mill with. Oh, thank God. But once again, he's hitting yet another bitter triumph. I really don't feel bad about getting the paleontologist on him. I mean, as a matter of fact, I, I still have four lands, dude. Uh, can we win now? Um, I think we should, uh, probably attack. Yeah, I think we should attack. Um, do, do I lose, do I attack with Paleontologist and lose a Graveyard Snipe? Uh, 
Um, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know about it. Yeah, just those. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck up his graveyard. Because he's gonna kill the thing right now. We're gonna exile one thing with it? Yeah, one thing with it to use its mana, right? Then we'll have four. We'll play this for two and hold up another uh, another exile. <clears throat> Alright, what are you discarding? Or are you losing the life? Atroxa. Alright, so let's uh, do this. Now this. Get rid of Atroxa. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we've got two mana. We've got the snipe. He said good game. Uh, we'll, I'll believe it when I see it, man. Yeah, probably better in terms of time to just leave. Oof. Oof. That was kind of an interesting game against uh, Squirming Emergence, though, right? We, we were decked out. We got Lucky hooked up with our Paleontologist, but he got hooked up with his bitter removal answers for it. Kind of an interesting game there. Not just a blowout either way, right? Like, if we have the Paleontologist, we destroy them. But if we don't, they just destroy us. Hey, that's how I feel a, a good amount of the games against a Squirming Emergence go. Yeah, but like... Graveyard hate on the mana dorks is crazy, man. Starting with Armored Scrap Gorger. Paleontologist now. Well, I guess not really starting with Scrap Gorger, right? Isn't there that Shards of Alara card or something? That that one drop. Ah, Deathrite Shaman. There it is. Deathrite Shaman. I don't know how old that card is exactly. I think that hated the graveyard too. On the possibly on a mana dork, right? Because it could also, yeah, it could add mana. I think based on what it exiled though. No, it had different effects based on the type of card it exiled. Shit. I think that's in Timeless now, right? Is it in Historic, or is it just in Timeless? Okay, they search for any card. Okay. Ooh, C-Note Scout. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, you want to show me the card you just tutored for? You want to share with the class? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well. Hey, we got the Canker Bloom, dude. Um, let's start by uh, attacking. Um, let's drop this. Eh, let, let's, let's hold on. And turn. Let, let's wait until they can do something with it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I gave them extra mana by allowing them to untap with that shit, 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 shit. I let them use the extra mana. All right. Well, you know what? Now let's do this. Boom. Right there. Let's see if they tap the thing for mana right now before it loses the ability. I'm hoping they don't. All right. I'm feeling pretty all right. Uh, 
I'm thinking Defiler, Sea Note Scout. Yeah, God bless us, huh? Canker Bloom there. Alright, they're definitely getting another Insidious Roots. I don't see them popping off too hard with it next turn. So I, I can't tell. Do I uh, do I wreck their graveyard now and not give them any shit to do with Insidious Roots? Or do I go Defiler of Vigor right now and get that started? I kind of want the Defiler. So I can have three eligible pretty good attackers next turn, I think. Oh, yes. The dude even drew me through that. All right. Might get another uh, nice spell. Okay, yep. Three mana now, right? That's pretty good. We can do Doomscar Warrior for three. Find a Canker Bloom. Play it for one, and then sacrifice it for one as well. And I guess still have a mana open. So we can do Doomscar Warrior and Paleontologist both before combat, so we can get a uh, even better search with Doomscar Warrior to find that Canker Bloom. Yeah, they're going to have a bad day, dude. You might want to exile that thing from your graveyard. Yeah. You're about to have a... But that's stupid. That's that's stupid. This person doesn't deserve this. Did I got my land drop right? Yeah, I got my land drop. All right, let's do this. Let's attack. That's fifteen, eighteen damage. All right, we can bring that up to 17. That's not good enough. So, uh, all right, yep. Uh, yep. Hello? And unfortunately, that's a really bad day for them. That's a very bad day. That's probably it. I mean, I have to royally pop. I, I don't even know how they would pop off here. Yeah, they, that's great. But without the Insidious Roots, they're not really going to pop off here, unfortunately. And we got lucky to find those Canker Blooms, huh? Although, I think Doom Scar Warrior would have found it. Uh, the first one was a little lucky, but yeah, the second one, I mean, we would have probably found it. It was lucky. It was still lucky to get a top decked, of course. And we got got our answers handed. Got our answers handed to us against Insidious Roots here. Honestly, we'll, we'll let them play it out. A lot of these people, they're playing a new deck. You know, it it takes some practice. I, I feel like it's a kind of budget deck. You know, so it's pretty uh new player friendly. I think. Um, all right. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's just finish this. Yep. All right. That was nice of them to uh, let us smash in there. That was nice of us to let them dick around in uh, or sit around while they dicked around their turn. So you know, good game. Good game. I hope they familiarize themselves a little more with that. That that deck can do a lot in one turn. It, it does need like two insidious roots out though, and Tyvar. Beast Mode Defiler, let's go. What's good? Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. Yeah, oh man, Defiler is one of my favorites. I have it for another roughly year and a half. We'll be uh, using that boy. And there's some interesting cards that are like one color and green, and so they're actually really nice allies with Defiler of Vigor. You just have to make it like a two color green deck. 
Well, and Elena's one of them. I think, uh, I think Sovereign might be pretty good with it, especially... Um, I, I think there's somebody coming out in the next set that might help me get Trample into my Sovereign decks. So, um, while we're here, I, I did... Nobody's going to be, uh, nobody who's watching this pre-recorded is going to be, uh, listening to, uh, this part. So, um, if one of you is interested in experimenting with Defiler Vigor, I wonder if Modified Hot Springs would go well with it. Uh, like in the deck that I'm running today, just somehow jam that card in. Right, it gives your modified creatures haste and defiler of vigor spreads the counters around, so I I was gonna do that, but I um I wound up putting in Luca instead because I, I, I I'd like some damage. It it can help me exploit more uh card draw of tribute to the world tree. Great idea, Sovereign Defiler, thank you, yeah. Um God, I love Defiler. <laughs> He's a fucking cool guy. I recently played a deck that performed kind of all right with Sovereign. It was a Selesnia deck within the last three weeks or something. I don't remember. Um, a, a little bit too much here. A bit too much. Oh, dude. Oh, man. All right, come on, C-Note Scout. I mean, we top deck the land there. That's pretty good. But, you know, if you want to put another one into my hand, that'll be... Uh, That'd be all right. I don't know. That's I I I don't know. All right, we sneak in the two damage there by uh, doing that before combat. Lotus Ring for plus three, plus three, and Vigilance, okay. With a sack option for, okay, that's why it's a Lotus, for three mana of any one color, beautiful. Um, Let's get down our uh, Tribute to the World Tree. Uh, no attacks. We're going to have to protect that thing. From Glissa, destroy target enchantment. Yep, that'll, uh, that's going to put Trample on the Death Touch route. Bye. Yep, nope. Nope. <laughs> We're not going to be able to deal with that thing. Cutzel is a nice idea with... Oh, right, because he wants all your creatures to have greater power than base power. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah, modified hot spring. Um, and also, if, you, if any of you guys missed it... um. We played Naya Calyx, like, at somewhere around the 20th or whatever of last month. Like, I don't think I've ever played a deck that powerful on the channel. And, like, pretty pretty weirdly, pretty wildly, but, like, one of the best cards for that night, I think it was Modified Hot Springs. I mean, you know, obviously Calyx by far and away was the best card, but, like, Calyx made it so that Modified Hot Spring was actually pretty fucking wild. Uh, so if you haven't checked out that stream... The Naya Kalex stream was pretty ridiculous. I'm going to play it again about the uh, 20th of this month, too, when I, uh, you know, I, I want to um, just actually make it to Mythic and stop chilling in Platinum. And we'll uh, we'll try our best to uh, blaze, through, uh, blaze through Diamond with that thing. Can't believe that thing resolved. All right, let's put this on uh, you before combat. Huh? Okay. Let's uh, let's attack. We actually get to declare it. All right, I'll take my map token. Sacrifices a creature and gets a poison counter. <sighs> Who do I sacrifice? Is it Kinker Bloom or is it Evolving Adaptive here? I can't really tell. I'll keep the uh, I'll keep the 
the stuff that Cankerbone does on the field, I guess. Um, the utility of Cankerbloom. That was the word I was looking for. I don't know about that. Oh, I kind of thought we were going to get wiped. See if we can get it, boys. Let's see if we can catch him blocking Cankerbloom. Don't block Cankerbloom, dude. Let's see if we can catch him being ultimate greedy. Come on. Come on, dude. He's thinking about it. Don't even you shouldn't even be thinking about it. Come on, do it, do it, do it. No. No. Block Cankerbloom. Do it, please. Please block Cankerbloom. The suspense, boys. <laughs> I, I love moments. It's so suspenseful. Uh, good boy. Good boy. Yep, he uh, he did it. Good boy. I mean, it also prevents more damage. I, I really wonder if he noticed that or not. Uh, let's do that here. If he knew that that was going to happen. I can't, I can't really tell because he took a while there. I feel like if he knew that was going to happen, it's an obvious block. Um, let's get this down and pass turn? No, 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 no. I can win if I'm not an idiot. My bad. I fucking... One of you just pulled your hair out right there. I'm sorry to you. <laughs> yeah, duh. Okay, Leyline of Guild Pack, all right, could be a nice card in Calyx Naya Standard with, Jesus Christ, with three Defilers <laughs> to reduce it to a green and six, <laughs> and six life. Sounds like a dream deck for Tribute. And then you can make copies of Tribute. And then when your defilers come in, you make even more cards. You make even, or you draw even more cards. Man, Johnny, you're a mad scientist with that. I like it. I like it. Five zero. Five, oh my gosh. Um. I mean, do I just get rid of Luca? I feel bad getting rid of Luca, but like the hand has two lands. Well, now it has three. Um, honestly, I I don't know. I might want tribute. It 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 is pretty good with this thing's map tokens. I had Jewel Thief in this deck because it's a little better with the four Halan and Alinas. I'm not even going to kid you, Tana. I actually really considered a five-color tribute. I really, j just to be an idiot. Um, let's, uh, let's attack. Oh, dear. All right. Well, let's do this. And then we'll use the token on Ceno Scout, and we'll attack. Right there. Wow, okay. So be it. Archangel of Wrath, kick to kill the paleontologist. Wow, okay. Alright, um, it's not really looking good for us. Ah, dude. Yeah, it can't attack.
I think he might have another Archangel of Wrath. He'll target C Note Scout and Canker Bloom, or he could target the 3 4 with both of the uh, kicks. I'm hoping he tar targets C Note Scout and Canker Bloom. Eh, yeah, alright, dude, that's wonderful. Too bad, too, because um, today we have the four um, Holan and Elena's who have Reach and First Strike. Love it. Love it, dude. I was going to put in um, the Ascendant Pack Leader today, the 2-1-1 the one, one drop, because uh, it has the potential to enter as a... Um, Three power creature drawing me cards off a of tribute, but I, I, I like this guy. I don't know. Uh, ooh, let me keep my uh, no, I want to keep my dual lands next to each other. But if I draw a forest, all right, Omnath and Atroxa says Tana. Five color tribute ooh, with five C Omnath. Perhaps I missed a Johnny there, my B. Alright, I think that's Halan and Elena, and this will grow to three, and then it will grow to five, and we'll swing for five, and that's a good turn. Uh, right there. Um... Okay, that was one swing, and that's cute, but we need a trampler. Or we're going to get chumped all day. So, like, I want to see Defiler. Oh, wow, they killed that over Holan and Elena. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm playing the Sentinel. Uh, this one, I guess. Right, because it'll give me the uh, map tokens to use on Holan and Elena, I guess. Although, I mean, we could do Tribute into this thing right now. We could do it. It's not bad, but I, I kind of like this one. Right there. Wow. Um, I probably not. All right. Uh, one, two. Um, do we attack with that one? Yeah. All right, and turn. And we do want the trampler, though. Um, so we have Doomscar Warrior, obviously the Defiler of Vigors. I think that's it, yeah, because I took out the Jewel Thieves for this guy. Wow. Oh, don't don't have the kill for Halan and Elena too, bro. You're Boros. You're gonna be sniping. Your Boros Convoke. You're gonna be sniping my creatures with that shit. All right, we we have to find the uh, we have to find the Trampler. He has those creatures tapped out. This is our shot. Uh, do we? I think we just win here, though, right? I think we just win. Uh, yeah, I don't think it really matters. Wow. Wow. Yes, T Gat. Hey, Biggie. Hey, T Gat. What's good? How goes the magic? Oh, this deck is very simple and satisfying. 
I love it, TGAT. Thank you for coming by. We're we're just using Defile or Vigor to put plus one plus one counters on Halana and Elena, and then hopefully something good happens. I love it. I love it. I love it. We've got some Tramplers. We've got some Vigilance. I have two copies of Luca, the one from freaking uh, that Phyrexia set. So I needed some damage in here. I'm hoping to get a nice Luca minus four off. Haven't even gotten on the field yet. Got my Halana and Elena's though. Yeah. Um, fine. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Mmm. I don't know. Are you a waste of time, though? Yeah. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. Then yeah, you know. Thank you. I appreciate it. you. Know, show me the blue white land straight up front. Okay. Have a have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Matter of fact, for being up front that you're not worth my time or energy. Thank you. Wow. Wow, this... Wow. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Alright. Uh, I mean, now I, I mulligan down to 5 and it's beautiful? Or, no, I'm going to keep the 6. It's, it's going to be a disaster. I don't care. Thank you, by the way, TGAT. Very nice. Not mulliganing down to fucking five. I'm praying for a nice, uh, friendly top deck. Whoa! I already have one. <clears throat> I I'd like a two-drop land tribute. Crazy that we top deck the C-Note Scout there. We, we do have six one-drops today, though, you know? Uh, yeah, we'll attack. <clears throat> okay, Halana, Elena, Defiler, and this. We have a good amount of people who who grow things for Luca minus four purposes. Yeah, this this is getting ugly. Real ugly here. Ah, oh, dude. Land number four. Land number four, please. We're, we're desperate for land number four. I would assume I'm going to concede this turn. Be, like, before the end of it. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Bye. Yep. Yep, yeah, peace. And remember, next turn, he's going to, um, for the one that's going to become Chapter 2, next turn he has Weaver of Harmony next turn. Big Life Linker and a Big Trampler. Deuces. What a hand, huh? Oh, I still can't wait for the rotation so enchantment decks die! Yeah, they're taking quite a hit. Kamigawa is going to rip the heart out of those. Jukai Naturalist, Michigo's Generous Visitor, Katilda, Hollowed Haunting. Whew. They're getting destroyed. Also, I don't know about this hand. How about fucking good hands, dude? I have like six one drops. I have eight two drops. I have a bunch of threes. You want to like help me out here? Oh, yeah, we're going to keep this and drop a Defiler. Feeling good. I wish Doomscar Warrior's face had a little more, like, lighting. Like, 
So dark, I can't tell what's going on there. Yep, keep six. Looks like there might be a mask involved. I don't know, I'd just like to get a decent look. Ooh, Schooner. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, if Holan and Elena stays for us next turn, it's a minor miracle because we put Doomscar Warrior on it, right? Okay, yeah, they, they do get this. They definitely get this. This is good. We're not blocking. Wow. Wow. Wow, I, maybe I should go Defiler here. I think Defiler needs demands removal. If they if they put Shieldred down, that's it. Yeah, I mean they can net. They can net some cute life here, but they have to. They might want to crew with Shieldred, or they might just want to not do anything else. Honestly, if they do any attacking, the game's over. If you attack, that's it, dude. Wow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, do I do tribute into Doomscar Warrior, or do I just do Doomscar Warrior? I think we'll just do Doomscar Warrior. Yep, because that goes on Halana and Elena. It won't be huge, but it'll be in total, let's see, a three and then a four power creature, right? First strike trampling. This will be a nine, right? Because the round of counters, this will be five. Doomscar Warrior will get four plus one plus one counters and become a uh, eight power trampler. So we'll have an eight and a nine power trampler. That's 17 tramplers, trampling right there. And then you have to deal with the other ones. All right, so we got fortunate there. Super strong start. Very fortunate there. Uh, I like Defiler so much. I, I think what it really is, though, honestly, I think I like just Halan and Elena. Got to be up there with my favorite. I think my favorite cards are like what tribute, Halana, Elena, like I guess Silverback Elder. Um, yeah, sure, let's take it. Fine, two lands, but I like our opening. Okay, we're going to really need to find that third land if we're going to have a uh, value grind. We can do that, but we need to find you. Yeah. Right, I would assume Liliana comes down and makes a sacrifice. Because it all... I knew that because it always follows Underdog. To regret it. Haven't you ever heard of personal space? Uh, I think we might want this one down. I can't tell, though, because I really do suspect it just fucking unceremoniously falls to removal, but I don't know what else to do. We'll discard the Kami, I think? Is it the Kami? We could play the Kami and then use it to get more out of the, this thing, you know? You won't be outsmarting me. It's not bad. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I should have discarded Tribute there. Uh, took my eye off the fucking ball there. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Took my eye off the fucking ball. Um, I can't... I, shit, I fucked up there. God damn it.
thank goodness. All right, slightly unscrews up for me. Okay. One of your friends has to leave. Well, that's probably going to be about it. And I don't know if we're going to get anything super amazing down. Is the last one the removal? I would assume it is. Alright, yep. We'll, uh... Block. Gotta do it. I would assume that's it. Alright, well, I mean, at least we can, uh... Deal with this attack here. I'll take it, and then we'll see what we draw. Well, let's see if he drew Shieldred. I'm going to assume he drew Shieldred until I see otherwise. Is it just Field of Ruin? Alright, well, he's thinning out our library. I don't know if that's the best play there. I think that's a play. I mean, he's going to win, but I don't think that's a good play. I think he should want us to draw a land. And, I mean, unless he knew our top card, right? Then make us shuffle. But I don't, I don't think that's a good play. Yeah, I think that's a double bad play, honestly. Right, once again, he's going to win, but... I mean, is he showing us how good his deck is in spite of him here? Because, once again, he wants us to draw a land here. And we do. We draw the land. You know, good game, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that was the right play. Yeah. Right, ju just mid-maxing. Still one, of course, but he reduced our odds of hitting duds. Still did. I, I, don't, I don't like it. Now you do that a uh, hundred times, and I think he decreases his win rate over those a hundred hypothetical games. Wow. <laughs> Fine. If it, dude, if you're gonna play this shit, then you need to be competent with it, unlike most of your peers. Oh, maybe this is the slow Gurk one. Okay, if it's not the World Souls Rage, we'll see. I, I don't have I I haven't seen enough of the Sloger guy. I know the World Souls Rage. They're fucking cold molasses uphill into a headwind, just dead middle of winter. The the sl absolute slowest drizzling shits of the game. But Slogurks? I I haven't made that judgment yet. I don't know. Yes, please. How many times do I need to click that? Okay. Okay. 80 plus cards in his deck, says Jeff. Yeah, it, it might be the Sloger. Although the Sloger pile, I think it was 68 cards. I wonder. Good good question. Good question. Um, We might want to use the Paleontologist to take cards out of his graveyard. Like, specifically this one, you know. We might want to do that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, attack. I, I should have done that. Honestly, uh, after combat, yeah. So he blocks there. Um, I think... What do I do here? Let's hold open the graveyard snipe. I, I, I'm not sure. Bar! Yes, Bar! Cohen, welcome back to the worst Magic Arena stream. Thank you for coming! 
checking out his graveyard, maybe just to see if it's worth to drop that. Uh, ooh, he does that. All right, we can actually screw this up for him. That's uh, that's pretty good, right? right? It's better than nothing. I'll take it. And now he can fire that off. But, oh, we should have done that first. All right, so we get away with that play. That's cute. That's cute. Uh, let's attack. Okay. This. Or do I get the Kami down so that next turn we can do, like, Defiler and really start going at this guy? I think a one drop is probably our best top deck. So we can tap out for Defiler. I, I guess the land is fine too, right? I just want to tap out for Defiler or, or somehow get something else after it. You know what? Good. Good. Bit, bit of mana issues over there. They're gonna, they might have a bad day. I don't see them hitting the ill-timed explosion here. And after our Defiler turn here, our creatures are gonna be so big because we have Kami. So I think we got lucky that they didn't like really smoothly start. I think they're gonna concede. Honestly, they're looking at Defiler too much. They either send into our hand or they leave right now. I think. That's my estimation. Really smelling the concede. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. You, you, this isn't going to be the one that gets you to diamond. Uh, you, you'll be fine in your next match. You got a nice deck here. But yeah, I, I think he's going to make sure that he can't win. And he's convinced that he's going to lose and he's going to leave. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he can return target creature to its owner's hand by channeling this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're just going to let me do this, though? You're going to let me do this? You have to send it back to my hand, dude. Oh, you snooze, you lose, dude. You snooze, you lose. Yep. Uh, wait, 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 can we win now? Can we win with, hang on, can we win with Cankerbloom? Um, this is going to be nine, hang on, thinking, nine, seven, six. Wait, wait, nine, seven, six, so that's 15 plus seven, 22, oh, we win. I, I didn't even factor in the uh, the proliferates there. Wow, forget about it. Woo! Oh man. Oh man, it, it was a nice desperation play by that guy. I, I I will give him that. That was a good desperation play. I like that guy. Bad bad game from him. In terms of circumstance, but once again, respect. Um, but yeah, god damn man. I, th I think he should have done that Colossal Sky Turtle on, on his turn before I could untap and start using that Defiler at all. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah, that. I mean, that went really well. He, he got royally land screwed, so no problem for us there. Not even with extra cards, too. No tributes, no, uh, no Doom Scars. Oh, bar. I'm ready for the new set, too, man. I'm, uh... Oh, man. I'm looking forward to the, uh... Hydra. I'm looking forward to the dragon. 
I'm sure there's other things too, but there are two cards from the new set that have uh, taken my attention. Uh, okay, let's get this one down. Ooh, I, I like this guy. He's concealing what color he is from us. I like him. All right, will we get the reveal? Hey, the mightiest mage. Oh, so smart, boys and girls. You'll never be close. Um, Man, I really want to get tribute down against this guy. Mountain's a bit awkward there. I really wanted to do tribute into C-Note Scout, of course, but, you know. Oh, well, we didn't go perfect there. Uh, this is our one and only one mountain in the um, library. It's because of, you know, Field of Ruins. I, I don't want people to be able to hate me out of my source of red that I need. Um, let's start with what? Let's start with C-Note Scout. I'm curious as to what you will build. Honestly, I I'm still brainstorming it, but... Uh, I know it'll be fine. I, I know I'm going to be spamming that new Hydra. Um, let's get that out of there. Um, let's do this one. Is that or Halan and Alina? I like this one. Alright. I want my card, please. And then we'll use the map token. On who? C-Note Scout. Oh, boy. This is... Like you haven't seen this card before. Golgari's running it too, right? I, I know you're seeing it. Right there. Right, so if he wants to kill the recipient of the Explorer, it's our arguably worst creature. It is a big creature, but no more utility on it. You know? Let's get rid of that. Was that two of them there? Yeah, two Explored away. All right, fair enough. Hey, earlier today I was really happy to see three intrepid paleontologists against that squirming emergence guy who kept recycling his bitter triumphs. And doing a good job of it, too. But <laughs> thank God we had the three paleontologists. Alright, you know what? This is good, honestly. It's good for him, too. He, he might want to thin his library out for lands, you know? Oh, right, 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 right. Railway brawler. Oh, bar. Yep. Oh, you know that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what a card, yeah. I'll, I'll probably run three of those for the entirety that it's in standard. Um, how the, how in Tarnation are we going to do this? Um, let's, okay. Go to combat, put those here. One, two... We're due for a board wipe, if they can hit the source of white. Alright, this will go here, or do we hold open a graveyard snipe? No. Let's do this. Alright, well, can they hit the uh, source of white into depopulate? We are praying against them, boys. Beautiful. If we haven't already liked the stream, boys, I know you enjoyed that. And it's not like we're proud of ourselves for outplaying him. That absolutely didn't happen. He's chilling on three lands here for the second or third consecutive turn while we're about to effortlessly hit our land drop and beautiful, beautiful everything. Couldn't have gone better for us, but that's why I'm asking for your like. That's a blue-white player. You're fucking welcome. I think that um, day one that the new set comes out, I think we're going to use Railway Brawler. Um, yeah, I think I want that as like an important part of a uh, strategy that honestly, like, I'm just going to spam the shit out of that strategy for as long as it's in standard. Kind of like what I'm doing with the dinosaurs. Like, I'm making a conscious effort to play some form of dinosaurs, I would say at least once a week. But 
I'm trying not to do it any more than two times a week because I, I know that everybody likes it. It seems to be really popular, but I don't want to overplay it, you know, uh, for you guys or for myself. But yeah, I think that the new set coming up is going to have some shit that we'll be seeing Big Fat MTG playing like at least once a week. I mean, that Railway Brawler, the, the Hydra, for, fucking forget about it, dude. I'm actually really excited for this set and, um, I'm really grateful for that too because the um, the preceding set uh, murders at whoever's manner I forget and I don't care, um, and I don't want to know because I don't care. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I, I didn't give a shit about that set, so I'm really happy that like you know the next set I'm feeling good. All right, I think that's maybe Halan and Elena into Luca, so that we can get a big fat Luca minus four. The turn after Halan and Elena uh, pumps this up twice. We'll do it post combat. All right, we'll tr we'll try to get a board wipe on them. Uh, if they get um, War Leader's call, that's going to be uh, it's going to be something though. I'm just praying that they can't get that Warden above 6 toughness here. Is that going to do it? I'm hoping they don't completely tap out for that. That's going to be so difficult to deal with. 1, 2, 3, 1, two. Oh, they can't, they can't do more. Thank God. That bunny corn is still going to be a royal fucking pain in the ass, though. Um, no blocks. I, I really wish this Luca was going to be a little better. Really do. Maybe Invigorating Hot Springs can shine with the new cards. Oh, yeah, Jeff. I, I think there's uh, one card that we that Bar just mentioned that looks like it could be good with Invigorating Hot Springs. Yeah, man. I actually almost put that into uh, today's deck. So we have to block Regal Bunnycorn if they attack all. Yeah, this is probably the end of the game. I, I can't see how we do this. I mean, I'll take Regal Bunnycorn. Wow. This guy sucks. Is that... Wait, wait you're sending all those at... Oh, okay, okay. Only those two. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were sending all five of these guys at that. All right, all right. You're good. I'll, I'll allow it. Good boy. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. All right, yeah, that's, uh... About as expected there. All right, that'll be everything. Pass turn. Up, up, up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have to put that here, I think? Um, yeah, 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 here. I think we're just dead on account of uh, them being much wider than us. Okay, yep. I really like the new commander deck, said Bar. Oh, I usually don't take a look at those. Maybe uh, some of the fellas in here in chat, I know some fellas uh, will uh, <clears throat> be interested in the commander decks. See if we can survive at one. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. 
So, you block here, that will live, don't worry, because Helena Elena will kill something on first strike. Uh, and we take three, and we die. But the paleontologist will beat the bunny cord, and then we'll die. But the paleontologist lived. I like it. Good job, paleontologist. You tried. We got outwided. Still like what you did. So in that matchup, I think Pelucranos would be really good to side in. And then like if you can flip over a Pelucranos with counters, you get a fat life linking and flying uh you know block slash attack. Oh so good. Or reaching, sorry, not flying. It can block flyers, so good. Um yeah, keep Yeah, we got a tribute. Oh, the best card. All right, let's uh swing for two. This is a good um, pickup. Draws us a card off of the best card, of course. Loving it. Uh, let's start by attacking. Yeah, only with this, though. So I want to do Tribute plus C-Note Scout. So let's see if that can actually attack in for the two damage that we don't deserve, but we can try to bluff. Our, our bluff is working on them. Whether or not it happens or not, it doesn't matter. The bluff is working, so they might be susceptible to the next one. I don't give a shit. As a matter of fact, the longer it, take, the longer it takes, the more I feel I'm taxing them. Yeah, they're, they're second-guessing themselves. Good, we've taxed their mental energy. We get, the, uh, we get the damage through, but once again, I think the real victory is the mental energy. Oh, yes. Yes. Explores me the land into hand. Oh, God, I love this guy. What a guy. Kaito. So, perhaps Demir Legends? Also, I like the uh, Brothers War styles on the sleeves. Um, I'm not going to hate this out of his graveyard. Oh, wow, two of them. Um, I mean, we're going to kill Kaito, right? Am I going to kill Kaito? No, 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 he phases, he phases, he phases. Um, I'm honestly fine with him taking these out of his graveyard. And he has to hit the uh, untapped blue. He could, but he might not. Um, so let's get this one done. It grows this guy, too. I'm going to leave open the Paleontologist Graveyard Heat. Um, yeah, okay. Let's uh, attack. Not you. Need to hold open your Graveyard Heat. Do you like the Spree mechanics, Asbar? Great question. Um, I I'm very interested as to uh, what those cards can do. I, I think I do. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited about those cards. 10 psychological damage counters on you, and you lose the game, says Felix. What's good? Welcome to the worst. Yeah, I mean, oof. Well, we, we really did. We, we really did get him with the tax before. I love it. The psychological damage counters. Also, he dropped a black there. So we'll be able to successfully hate his graveyard once. I don't like that when these are over here, it doesn't put them in your graveyard. Although, I guess I kind of get it. But I, I don't like that it appears as though your graveyard is empty, even though there's cards in it, you know? Alright. Sure, that's fine. What's he going to do? Mill us, I guess? Because he's going to lose. He has to assume he's going to lose that thing, so I would assume he minus fives it. Okay. Sure. Okay, that, yeah, that's good. That tips the math better in his favor. All right, I like it. I like it. Good move. Yep, definitely no attacks. Um, six, eight. Eight. 
It deals the damage divided amongst planeswalkers. We don't have a lot of damage going on now, though. We we don't really don't have too much on the field. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me hit the thinking here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um, all right, let's start with um, start with this. Wow. All right, Lord Lazy. Yes, how are we doing? Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream. I I need to figure out what the hell to fucking do here. Um. I could bring Luka down right now, blast these guys, and then blast their Planeswalkers since we're not going to win. Um, I don't know if that's good, though. What if they hit a deadly cover-up? I don't know. I, I think we're going to uh, deal a little bit of damage here. Just the three damage to Runa, I think. Uh, right there. Yep. Not thrilled with this in our low powers, but, you know. Uh, we're making do. <clears throat> I mean, are you going to tap it? Because that's the only thing you can do now, right? <clears throat> Alright, so let's go after this. Let's go after this. Give them give the choice. Uh, you know what? Let's attack with this, too. Right, so we still get the token. I would assume he saves Kaito and lets Jace take the hit. Wow. All right. He wants big uh, big Jace then. Big mill. All right. Well, we got Luka on the field. It can minus one to make a 3-3, three, three, which draws us a card off of Tribute, of course, and, and kills it. So I don't really want to do that. I, maybe we can plus and do Tribute plus another creature, right? I mean, for five mana, it's Tribute plus this, right? This adds two, so it'll, but only for creatures, so it pays for this. I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, yep, they do the chase there. All right. Wow, three of our Halan and Elena's are in the graveyard. The other Luca's in the graveyard. That's probably it. I would assume they concede after they discard. They have one mana open. Uh, so unless if they have the bounce spell, let's take a look in their graveyard. I don't see another copy of the bounce spell. That doesn't mean that they don't have it. Just looking. Well, let's uh, start by attacking. Does it actually go through? Okay, well, we take down the uh, Demir Mill deck. Lord Lazy's a big fan of that one. There you go. All right, Lord Lazy, love that one. I like Kaito. Draws cards and makes a creature. Creature ain't good, but I hey, unblockable little one one draws cards. I actually sketched out a uh, a Demir Super Friends deck. So I think I have two Kaitos. I I, I use um. The Vraska Teferi. That's basically the uh, the heart and soul of the deck. Yeah, you know? it's not all super friends, but yeah, I sketched out a nice Demir Planeswalker deck. It was cute. It sucked. I mean, I got some victories with it in the hardest format that Arena has to offer, unranked. But I don't know. It just felt slow. Thank you, Lord Lazy, for the nice. I uh. Appreciate it. I think we deserve it there. Awkward, but fine. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Um, I don't want to do, I don't want to use Besage you first. I don't want to use Besage you first. If I had a canker bloom maybe. Hey, um, but mm, mm, no, not right now, dude. Not right now. I think I'm looking for a tribute. Okay, maybe I should have kept the Canker Bloom against Selesnya enchantments. Maybe that was silly. Um, okay, let's uh, 
Attack. Yeah, that happily. Happily, happily, happily. Uh, you know what? Let's get uh, let's get this one down. Let's save the life. Creature, good, instant equals evil. The devil there. Devil. Uh, Brew not being very good in the currently... Uh, I know. I know. I, I didn't run the prescribed you have to run these cards. The prescribed you have to run these strategies. Um, let's not do anything because that's stupid. Uh, Alright, well... Michi goes. All right. Well, some serious power going on over there. Wow. Um, no blocks. Wow. Uh, let's put that here. Uh, do we attack there? No. They could double this with Weaver of Harmony. And this this could be a rough turn, you know. They don't bother with it. Do they have an ossification that they want to double? Maybe they want to double this. Well, they didn't double it. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> wow, that's... All right, I don't know what I'm going to do against that now. I don't know what in tarnation we do against that. <clears throat> yep, that's uh, really awesome. That's really awesome. That that's wonderful. 100% there's an os- Oh, doesn't even need it. Doesn't even need it. It's in turbo god mode. Are you bad? There you go. Good boy. Alright, yep. Woof! Alrighty then. Okay, yeah, we had to be perfect and we weren't, so good game, he wins. What a card Michi goes. Counts artifacts too. You rarely see that counting, but it could happen. Um, yeah. R.I.P. Indeed. We got buried. Ooh, you guys running the uh, new pet there. Click it. Uh, no. Already got one. <clears throat> Looking for tribute, baby. Doom Scars. I'll take the uh, three mana merfolk, too. He's a pretty good guy. Oh, yes, my man. Thank you for showing up. Swing first, then Kanker Bloom. Oh, we got the Sentinel. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Scrap Gorger. Is it Jund? Um, what's it? Insidious Roots? That's what I'm smelling at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and attack. Oh, wow, it has a slot in Historic Affinity decks. It actually... Oh, okay, okay. Makes sense. Maybe Affinity for Artifacts? I don't, I don't know how much in Affinity for Enchantments I've heard of. Sweet! Fucking okay. So in Historic Affinity decks, that's very important. Cool. Um, I think we're going with this one. We don't have to. Uh, if we're so lucky, we're going to put the counters on C-Note Scout.
Wow. Okay. All right. We attack. All right. Yep. They preserve their scrap forger. They take some damage, but it's still there. I'm assuming... I, I guess I don't know anymore. This could just be Jun Dinosaurs. Jun Discover. I don't fucking know. I, I thought it was Insidious Roots because I saw a Scrap Gorger with at least, uh, you know, this here. It's not a top tier deck, but I do see people playing it. I like to hear that. I like people who play not top tier. I'm sure it's still very good. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's uh, drop this. Put it on C-Note Scout. Right there. Let's go ahead and attack. Okay. All right. All right. He's got something to do. He's taking out probably Halan and Elena. Canker Bloom. Wow, he takes out the Canker Doom. What a smart guy. Come on, deal it two damage. Pile on on that one? Wow, okay. Okay. Well, now that he's done that, I'll go ahead and do this. Right here. Hey, all right. We got him to spend his treasure token. That's pretty good. All right, minus one mana capacity. I'll take it. Okay, a Carnosaur. Come on, don't get anything good. He discovers five here. That's pretty good. Come on, nothing, nothing crazy. Come on. Fight rigging. Ooh, he's gonna activate that. He, he got fuck you, dude. Fuck <laughs> seriously, bro. Fuck you. That's that's pretty good. I I just managed to get four power on the field, so that's pretty awesome. He's now he now he deals eight damage. To my best day. Are you kidding? What? I just got a four power thing on the field. What's fucking happening here? And nice, ain't doing what I want to do with this deck. That's nice, but like, that was your turn? Fucking, that's. Wow, that's a really good turn. All right, well, please don't be perfect again. Beyond perfect again. So I'm top decking. You serve me now. Oh, how are you doing this? You had the answer here. Your last turn was God Mode Superman, and now you have the answer too. Wow, boys, this part—you can't, you cannot touch this person, no matter what you do. You just can't. He's perfect in every way. I would assume we draw a land. I mean, that's good. That's definitely good. Oh, you know, we need that a long time ago. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take it. Definitely going to take it. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord Lazy. He had a uh, fucking... <laughs> it's... 
move over God. Uh, this person is you. You worship this man now. Uh, I'm gonna assume the the game is over this turn. I can't see this guy not going nuclear god mode. Are you gonna kill my tribute with the last card in your hand? <laughs> Boy, you you can't win. It's it's nuclear holocaust god mode. That's wild. That's. <laughs> Are you top decking? Are you top decking? That's fucking wild. Yeah, it was interesting to see two Lucas there. I, I wish the perf our performances were mirrored, because I'd be having perfect effortless top decks, too. I really wanted some perfect effortless top decks. God damn it. Wow. Dude went trumpeting Carnosaur into fire rigging, into a Luka, into the Luka being perfect. What? Into a second Luka. Fucking okay, buddy. Top decking too. We're gonna take this hand. This I like it a lot. Who do I get rid of? I guess one tribute. One tribute or Kami. I'm gonna go with take get rid of one tribute here. Okay. Come on, C Note Scout. Come on, buddy. Sure, fine. This is good. This is good. Okay, yep. Alright. Nice two drop would be pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good, Lord Lazy. Indeed. Pretty good. Alright, yep. Resolve all. Cacophony Scamp gains haste. That's pretty good. We'll block it. Yep. Alright. Oh boy. Yep, alright, good. Wow. Okay. I fucking what is going on? I'm assuming he wins with a giant growth on a, a giant growth on a swift spear. Yes, I, I have to assume he has exactly it. <laughs> That's wild, dude. <laughs> Thank you, sure. Tribute? Oh, I know. I when <laughs> just about all of them there. <laughs> oh, too much of a good thing, unfortunately. No. Bro, I, 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 I was responsible today. Six one drops, the same, same eight two drops. Alright, boys. Oh, a control matchup. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Loads of value there, right? Put out one or two, and then when they get farewelled, have the backups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hell, this one ain't too bad against control. I don't know if that's who we're facing, but you know, if if if, if it lets us buff up some cheap creatures against them, so that they can't just be played with fired. Hey, okay. it buffs up the paleontologist into four four, so that I can't get lightning strike. Um, we might want to besage you one of these. They get another land, though, so I don't know what to do, but I mean... Only a one drop, not a two drop against, uh, red. I don't know about this one. I don't feel good giving them a land. Um, no attacks. Alright, I think it was good that we, uh... Besage you the other Kumano, or else that would enter us a 4 4. I'll take a reasonable early game, please. I guess that ship has sailed. I'll take it next game now. I guess I'm just going to get raffle, uh, effortlessly raffle slaughtered, but yeah, I'm not playing. Bye. Bro, can you give me a hand that isn't fucking weird? I know you can. I right, give me the keep five hand and with the keep seven. I know you can. Do it. Wow, um Do I want this one for Helena and Elena next turn? Maybe we just get this one done. I guess this coming turn we can use the map token and get um, Paleontologist down. Wow. Alright, well, let's do this. Uh, oh, bro, you're trying way too hard. Trying way too hard. Just keep trying to pin me down. Might be worth double blocking. Yeah, let's get rid of Kodama. Yeah, definitely. Can you not have another Kodama? Wow. A lot like a mirror here. Fucking alright. Alright, fucking please stop handcuffing me. G give me the fucking land. Uh, I think we might want to put that away. Alright. Uh, we do have a decent response to that, though. The... Uh, bro, you have it. You have that. Yeah, bye. Fucking... Is everybody just going to go perfect like that? Is it going to be everybody perfect while I'm handcuffed? Well, you know what? Let's, let's get through the bad luck. The possibly forced bad luck and let's uh <laughs> let's
Let's try to play a real game. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just can't help but feeling repeatedly handcuffed up against perfect opponents. <laughs> Okay, I'll take a tribute, yeah. That was great. Um let's uh let's pass. Can anybody have a janky game? Are you all perfect? Like, doesn't anybody have bad luck occasionally? Okay, okay. Uh, let's start with Canker Bloom. And then Kami. Ooh, Sentinel, Sentinel, Sentinel. I'm gonna have to assume it's Brutal Cathar. <laughs> Fucking every single one of you is perfect. Every single one of you is perfect right now. All right. Yep. Well, just I'll, I'll keep losing until you uh, give me the minor league opponents. All right, Rob to Miss Prime. Lucky you, man. You're, you're going to go fucking forcibly perfect here. Wow. Uh... Bro, give me the keep five hand. I know that you can give me better hands when you want to. Give me the keep five hand. Oh, uh, all raging bull. How we doing, man? Welcome to the worst Magic Grand Stream. Yeah, that could... gas and gas and gas. <laughs> I'd, I'd love a little bit. I'm, I'm trying to huff some of that gas. Uh, let's uh, do this and not just sniff people's fucking farts. Is there one person out there <laughs> who's going to stumble a little bit? Maybe it's this guy. He had a slightly less than perfect turn two. Oh, gosh. Wow. Uh, no blocks. Oh, Josh. <laughs> well said. It seems like it has, in fact, forgotten. Oops. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, we get ourselves a good attack here. We, we, we have to be grateful that we had one decent anything there. We, especially after the last fucking games have gone. <laughs> I'm grateful I did one okay thing here. You know, cue the lightning bolt, but... Yep, I'm basically a professional at saving in a stride by now. <laughs> Watch me. Wow. Wow. All right, only Godric. That's uh, pretty good. Right there. 
Uh, do we do more? Yeah, I think right there. <coughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we can keep that. Sure. Right uh, there. Do we hit Chandra? I think we... Do we lose the blocker but hit Chandra? I don't think so. I think I need the blocker. Hopefully they can't increase Godric's toughness. That would be done probably with Monstrous Rage. Because my Halana Atlanta does have the first strike um, and reaching block on it when it becomes a dragon. Although, wait, does it become a 4-4 dragon? Uh, with base power and toughness, 4-4. Yeah, so we'll have to we'll have to lose Halana and Lena, unfortunately. <clears throat> All right, Kumano, wow, wow. Wow. Yep, got a block. Oh ho ho ho! Um, I don't know if that really does anything here, right? Um, what does that do? I, I don't know if that does anything here. Um, can I kill anything with that? This, I guess. Maybe we should hold it to kill that. <laughs> All right, right here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, attack. Right? How much does this need? Minus seven. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's do that. Yep, that's a uh, good call there. That way I can't use Besaju to destroy the, uh, the other creature. Probably should have just used Besaju right there, um, to be perfectly honest. All right, yeah, let's... Uh... We can still use Besaju to kill the Manland, so I'm fine, right? It's not useless. Yep. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, do this. No, no, let's do it after we uh, declare blockers. Wow. Wow. Um, do I have a shot here to win? Do I have a shot here to win? We can kill it now. Just that they have less blocks. <clears throat> How the hell do we do this? Wow. Um, that doesn't get followed up by anything too great, honestly. Let's start with this. Wow. Um... Get rid of it. All right, yeah, that's uh, I'll get rid of it. But now we do Doom Scar. Right there, so that way it becomes a five. Now it handles Godric as a five five. Let's put this right here and let's attack Chandra, right? So that they can't keep pecking us with that shit. Or do I win by attacking them with thirteen? No, no, no. I I think we're gonna be safe. And attack there. We might, um, we might get fucked up royally. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm worried about that, Chandra. I think their best bet is to not block here. You know, I should have attacked with Doomscar to force them to block. I should have attacked with the four three at them. I fucked that up, right? Because then they have to block probably with adversaries that they trade. Shit, I fucked up. I fucked up, man. 
I, so I might as well have attacked with Helena and Elena too, so that they'd have to block with both. And then this would just be blocking the etching and Phoenix chick. I think they uh, might have the monstrous rage. Let's say. Uh, there you go. Well, they would have won anyway. They would have top decked the perfect answer. It would have been even more frustrating. That was the top deck, boys and girls. No extra card from Chandra. He had to win. Why not trample the Vigilance dude, said Tana. Ooh, did I, did I, I might have just, um... <coughs> I might have just tunnel visioned on the Doomscar onto Halan and Elena. Was it going to be better? Was it going to be, um... Oh, maybe I should have trampled on the uh, Vigilance guy and then attacked shit and then attacked the Planeswalker. Shit, you're absolutely right, Tana. Yeah, I really screwed up that uh, combat. Even worse, I didn't even realize that that was what I probably should have done. Yeah, damn, forget about it. I really, I completely fucked that up. Okay. Um, alright, this... Oh, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah, oh, Raging Bull, I, I think Tana was right. Yep. Okay, well, let's do the only thing we can. Wow, okay. <coughs> okay. Yep, good stuff. Wow, all right, all right, all right. Um, is it the tribute, though? Is it the tribute? Let's, uh, this has defender, right? Let's, uh, let's start by attacking. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind if they block with that thing, because it winds up drawing them cards. I'm really happy with them blocking with Surge Defender or Surge Engine here. Yeah, if they sink their mana into that thing, I'm I'm fine. Loses Defender, gains can't be blocked. Oh boy. That's good. All right, so Kami of Whispered Hopes? Um, do we attack and then kill this? Uh, I think we have to kill this or else they'll put the uh, the counters on uh, Surge, or the uh, plus on Surge Engine. Yeah, they uh, they will are uh, my bad. <laughs> That's an enchantment. <laughs> yeah, they because they can just uh, go ahead and use the Michigos on these things, and that's just easy, easy peasy. Oh, dang! Woo! This is like playing an unranked. Like I can tell when I'm an unranked because like everybody has God Mode hands. Wow. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, okay, okay. He was just going to win by doing that. Yeah, you, you, sometimes you just can't stop. You're you're marked for death. We had a couple of wins with the Defiler today. Matchmaker says, nuh uh. Feed him to whales. Put him in high performing platinum. Feed him to people do, that, uh, you know, need a low performing opponent. Give them all the keep five hand. Select for him something shit. It's not and not the keep five. Doesn't even matter. Just not the keep five. Fine, dude. Yeah, what will we'll happen upon the right the right uh you know balance of cards again? 
Uh, unfortunately, it's a little annoying having it repeatedly uh, be this bad in the face of people repeatedly doing that good. I mean, it does happen, unfortunately. All right, well, good luck. Wow, C Note Scout. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get uh, this one done then. If it lives, we do Tribute C Note Scout, which is pretty good. If, if we can start buffing up our creatures, that's really, really awesome. So, really, really pray for Paleontologist. But I would assume that means that they're going to have the play with fire. I genuinely can't believe that they didn't have the play with fire. Yes. I mean, it's got Vigilance. Next turn, we can play that and a Paleontologist. If this Paleontologist on the field lives. <clears throat> Alright, that's the one I'll block with Monstrous Rage, or with uh, C-Note Scout. Yeah, because we know that Monstrous Rage is coming. Alright, well, I don't get to block. We'd really like the one drop here, honestly. <laughs> okay. I mean, we didn't even have a bad game. This guy just fucking destroying us effortlessly. He's going second, too. We actually had a good shot. We're going first. These ga I, I mean, I don't think this deck is that bad. This feels like just like a, a you know, a bad luck patch that's unfortunately happening for a long time. Um, yeah, we're probably going to die to uh, the Monastery Swiss Sphere, but let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I think we actually have to do the Swiss Spear here. Even though I, it probably takes Monstrous Rage and then lives. I, I think we have to do this. <clears throat> Alright, so my block's probably not going to work. Bro. And they're all beyond perfect. Do you, you, wow. I, the last card in his hand, it has to be played with fire. All right, well, we, we can't do anything, that's it. That's fuck. that's the whole entire game. That's okay, sure. Yeah. Hey, we're not tapped out, so he does have to uh he does have to play. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this, this ain't normal. This ain't right. It's just a bad luck patch, but pff, nah. We we underperforming right now. All right, well, let's get ourselves fed to this guy in spite of himself, too. I think we'll uh, keep this hand, even though it's not great. It's barely keepable since we go first. Okay, no one or two drop top deck. I was just thinking because everything, everybody else is getting everything handed to them. I was hoping for mine. All right, fair enough. Well, there's my hand out, honestly. He didn't get his uh, second land drop. T honestly, there it is, boys. The forcible W. Uh, I, we could get down Tribute, but I'll get down this. Is it Fading Hope? 
right? Because he just dropped a make disappear. So if he gets his second land drop, <clears throat> yeah, I want to have the creature resolved. Let's uh, let's start by uh, doing this. Awesome. All right, attack. Uh, let's drop this one. Can wizards print a green board wipe, which is like deal X damage to all creatures where X is the greatest power? Yeah, a green board wipe isn't entirely unheard of, all Raging Bull. Um, I, I know that green has had like deal X damage to each creature um, with flying. Cards like Hurricane come to mind. Let's get this one down because it gets around Make Disappear at this precise second. All right, we move to combat. All right, they like the thing that's on top. Let's do this. They couldn't have, says Josh Oh, in response to green board wipes. All right, but the one that he has, uh, I've seen, was awful. I think they can make AOE fight bite spell. Yeah, and yeah, Josh says spinning heel kick. Richard uh, Dragon liked uh, spinning heel kick like way early in my channel. All right. We're going to go for the Halan and Elena here. Gets around to make disappear. Well, it forces them to sacrifice Haughty Jin to make disappear. Do they not have the bounce? Ooh, if I had waited until the end of the turn, I would have dropped that one. Well, then I wouldn't have gotten around. Would I have gotten around Make Disappear? Yeah, yeah, I would have. No, we, no, 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 we wouldn't have. All right, so I made the right play. I made the right play. All right, uh, yeah, let's do another untapped one. Uh, let's start with this. See if they drew the uh, counter that didn't get used for Holland and Elena. I think he's adding up his... T Are you going to leave? Ah, oh, okay. You're sacri... Okay, okay. Well. Alright. Hey, good. Awesome. Great. We'll see. That's probably going to be it. That was the that was my win after after all those stupid forcible losses. Whatever. Hey, at least we can take down a Hadijin after all that slew of ridiculous, ridiculous shithead losses. I'll take it. I will take it. Although one of those losses I think was my uh, my fault. Fine. Fine. Can you give me a real opponent? I'm sorry, I just... I've been through that... Di I've exhausted that dialogue tree. You know, I, I know. 
the dialogue tree is cute, you know, it's it's got some nice writing in it, but I've exhausted that uh that person's dialogue tree. I know everything that can happen and it won't stimulate my brain. Dude. Dude. Why can't you give me the keep you you know that you can give beautiful keep five hands and you choose not to. Give me my keep five. Give me my beautiful keep five hand. Jace player conceding to draft shaft on common alert, says Lord Lazy. Well, I asked for a real opponent. I got this. I guess we go first this time into a land screwed hand now. And a keep six. So I don't know how much better that is, but I guess they also did one day. Well, they did one damage on turn two, and that sucks for them, but... Okay, we'll sit here in this purgatory for a moment. I, I think we're both destined to lose. Oh, never mind, I'm getting out ramped now. Yeah, I... What's going on? What's going on? Bro, give me the keep five hand. You know you can. Give me the keep five hand. It happens, boys. Unfortunately, we are in a bit of a get, uh, bad luck patch, but god damn. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> yeah, this ain't a great deck by Big Fat MTG. I like it. It's nothing special, but it ain't this bad. Transplant Theorist, ooh, during some, doing some work in the Urza deck. Awesome, Lord Lazy. Yeah, yeah, that gives you great... I think it's card advantage, right? Doesn't let you draw and discard? Yeah, that's good shit. Fairly confident that's what that one does, so... Congratulations, making somebody concede to that shit. Love it. Uh, well, we have a Canker Bloom that I guess makes this keepable. Could be good against them. Do I get this one down and then just get fucking stupid board wiped? I, I, I can't. I can't risk that. And no way. They, no way. Uh, they have the Restless Anchorage. That becomes a 2-3. Yeah, so let's only attack with that. I think the two... Ooh, put a card from your grave on the bottom of your library. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Outlasting the freaking mill, I like. Well, I mean, this is the right guy to get tribute down against. Do, do you immediately have... I mean, everybody else has been perfect so far. Just comically perfect. You might as well have everything you'll need every time. Getting out ramped by blue white now. Oh, you lost enough games. Yes, Josh, things are looking good. They're turning around. We lost enough games to draw our one and our two drops. Yes. Yes, with almost mana to play them. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great here, boys. We have half of his mana capacity, but at least we're drawing our one and two drops. You know, it looks like we might get him to misplay into a canker bloom. Let's, uh, attack. Exile it. All right, yep. Um, and turn. 
All right, boys, that's, uh, this is awesome. This is great. Enough for the memory deluge flashback. Yeah, this is, this is awesome, dude. I, I'm not going to stay in this game for very long. I honestly should concede now, because even if I get the land, like, am I really going to sit here and grind this out against this guy? Do I want to? I don't even want to. Ugh, yuck, it actually gave me what I fucking... Fuck you, dude, for giving me what I needed. Seriously, I, I hate you for giving me what I needed. I fucking hate you for giving me what I needed. Honestly, maybe I should have minus fort it. Wow, alright, uh, let's attack... Perfectly fine with that. Peak MTG. Got that C note. Let's find him. Where the hell did he go? Oh, yeah, that's right. He got exiled. God, I love that card, man. He didn't even draw a discard. Hand must be good, says Lord Lazy. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's pretty scary. I mean, I honestly think that the game's been handed to him enough just by us having, like, not a lot of stuff to do for that long. Like, it's nice that we have tribute, but I genuinely feel like I'm just getting carrot dangled and I'm putting my time into a fool's errand here and, like, I have no chance. I just kind of feel like I might a little bit. I honestly feel like a fucking idiot for being here right now. I might put Halan and Elena down now, just so that I can get rid of the Wandering Emperor. Wow. Alright, okay. Um, Let's hold on to that. Ooh, Arlen! Yeah, Arlen. Sweet freaking card, yeah. It gives you flash? Or it gives your creature spells able to be casted with flash? That's sweet. Yeah, however the hell you spell her. I think you're talking about the green and black plane or the green and red planeswalker, right? Makes the two wolves. Yeah, it's got a she's got the nice nighttime. Anastrad Arlen, assuming that's who you're talking about, that's pretty cool. Alright, the um the minus on Halan and Elena is pretty cool there. Um Do we like m go at them with Defiler Vigor? Can I win here with Defiler Vigor? I mean we could probably do a lot. Let's see if we... I'm sure we're going to get countered, but I'm, I'm going to go for it, dude. Field of Ruin in your non-tribute decks. Uh, not right. I, I just haven't thought of it. I, I don't have anything against it. I just haven't thought of it yet. Um, let's do this, right? Let's, let's pay this. All right, all right, yeah, all right. That's good. That's definitely good. Guy sucks. Let's just say, hang on, this was gonna so four, ten, and nine, so then this was gonna be thirteen, so. 
4, 10, and 13. Oh, that makes 27. Oh, wow. Okay, we had that. Wow. Oh, Lord Lazy hit the... Oh, I, I wish, I wish, I wish. I'm stunned. Stunned. I, sh I shouldn't be stunned. I, I genuinely, genuinely cannot believe that that game turned around with us winning. So I'll honestly have to say, maybe he left because his hand sucked and it was frustrating for him, you know? Like, he, he didn't hit the board wipe that last turn. You know, he put Jace. It looked like he could probably have used the board wipe, right? So... I'm going to have to go ahead and guess that that was a frustration concede from our opponent who had a far less than optimal last turn. Right? I think that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> you fucking nailed it. You fucking nailed it. Now that you got your harder win. I love it. It's something about the struggle boss. I don't know why. It's cracking me up. I like it. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for still being here after that fucking awful, awful, awful series of events. I, I really want to thank you guys now for, you know, sticking through a live stream that's taken a bunch of L's because, you know, so, uh, uh, an edited video, another stream that's getting W's is a couple of clicks away here on the internet. So seriously, thank you for the viewership there. Tana, thank you for the trophies. Adam Minsk, yes, what's good? Welcome to the worst Magic Arena stream, and thank you for your loyal viewership. Good thing we didn't concede. Indeed. Fucking indeed. All right, let's get this guy down. I knew you won as soon as the priority auto passed. <laughs> On the paleontologist. At once as always obligatory, I wish that arena didn't give us that information, but yeah, good uh, good eye there, Lord Lazy. Big fat oh Thank you, Felix. I am feeling blessed to get away with that one there. Uh let's start with this one. I wish we had a one drop, right? To get the round of two counters. That will not happen, unfortunately. I would assume we swing for two and Defiler's dead. Yeah, okay, he has to have the removal for Defiler if he did that. Yeah, no way in fucking hell does he not have the removal for Defiler. The end on Defiler. Got our Luca. Def the end on Defiler. I don't have a tribute. Back to the struggle bus, boys. The end on our key piece. I'm not even going to bother. Bye. He has four of those, boys. Bye. That's that's not a that's not a place where my energy goes. We we could win. We don't have a zero percent chance at all. I I I have a zero percent chance of playing it out. We definitely have a a non-zero win rate there. We could totally pull it out. I just don't want to. I don't think it's worth my time or energy. <laughs> I wish Arena had automatic stops in place like um, Moto. Perhaps that's online. I'm not sure. Oh, we're going to keep this. Yeah, I get... LOL, I get way too much info from the... Yeah, those, um, those holds of priority can be very telling about, you know, counters... Kills. And the only way to circumvent that is to just, what, hold full control all the time? That's so needlessly tedious. That's awful. Yeah, might as well put that counter on that thing. Good, good. All right, well, I like Paleontologist here. No problem. This thing sacrifices to draw them a card, so it's good that they couldn't use it to uh, set up a block and then draw. Alright. Alright, dude, give me the land. G 
Give me the land. Come on. Don't don't let Insidious Roots out ramp me, boy. All right. So right now I have two lands. They have Insidious Roots, but they aren't doing graveyard stuff at the moment. So we have a actually we have a huge shot here. Actually, we might have a scary shot here. I actually I, I yeah did they we might have ruined their day. I mean, this is horrifying, honestly. Yeah, I, that might be it. I don't... I mean, they have the Jund version. Let's see if they can get, like, Voldemort and Thrillseeker in the graveyard and Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Okay, so they have this. That's great. <laughs> this will be I think it might have taken them a, one or two too many turns for all that. We'll see. You know, they, they get a... Insidious Roots, they have these. This is good, so they'll do two more Insidious Roots here. I figured I would do Defiler instead of Cankerbloom. I, I think we're going to have the biggest Luka of the night here. L let me start pre-planning this move right now. One, two, three, f Oh, fuck. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I understand why he conceded. I wish he didn't. I really wanted the huge Luka there, right? Since we have a lot of mana. Since, well, a lot of mana. You know, we doubled our mana capacity with that Kami getting the counters. But I think we were going to do this, right? And then um, some Canker Blooms until I can see that I'm, uh, you know, tapped out. And then we would minus four, just mow everything down and attack. Damn it. <laughs> and I think that was the Luka of the night because it was going to mow down some stuff. If it auto-passes all the way to their turn, they didn't got nothing up. Okay. If it auto-passes till the creature's on the field, it's a kill. Okay. If it holds on the stack but auto-passes after it fits the it hits the field. Yep. Nails Mythic Mike's a cool dude. I've watched a couple of them, but I don't I'm not familiar enough to know if he actually goes by Mythic Mike in the game. Although I think I remember him using this avatar. I checked out one of his uh I checked out one of his videos recently. It might have been the first one I ever watched. Once again, not taking anything away from him, nothing but respect. I'm ah, oh, thank you, Josh. Hey, 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 hey. Have a good night. Thank you for your support. Take it easy, man. And the fucking moral support too. All right. Well, I don't know if it is Mythic Mike, but you know, it'd be nice to uh, whoever it is, Mythic Mike, or maybe one of his fans. Hey! All right, big fat MTG classic right there. Mainstay. Later in the game, it's a lot harder to judge, okay, because literally anything and everything, yeah. It holds up priority by then. Alright, yep. Uh, take. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So we have a choice next turn. We can do second tribute into C Note Scout. We can do Doomscar Warrior and maybe try to find Defiler. Because if he gets a Shieldred on me, I'm going to be really pissed. But I'm, I'm going to try this. Yep. Let's start by exploring. Uh, I mean, it does get the thing in his graveyard, but I don't know about it. Eh, all right. All right. As long as he doesn't drop the shield right here, then then we're uh, looking real bad. Oh. All right, all right, all right. That's honestly fine. As long as he doesn't have another bat to take the other thing out of our hand. All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling fine. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm blocking that shit. Yeah, because that draws him cards. We we have the uh we have the card draw ready to go, I think. Oh, that is his nickname on the game. Okay, fucking cool. 
honor to play him. I like it. Imagine a flash speed enabler and get that lifelink lamp. Imagine a flash speed enabler and get that lifelink vampire to block versus. Oh god, versus red deep. Ugh. Ugh. Um. All right. All right. Let's start with the uh, this because he sees in our hand. Ooh, not bad. Okay. Put this one down. Okay, once he gets the shield, we're fucking dead. He didn't play it last turn. He's had like two draws since then. Right, from this and then the top deck. Alright, now he's got a third one, so he, I would imagine he has to have Shieldra in this deck. Jix, right, this, he definitely got her. Alright, so... We gotta find Halan and Elena, dude. Oh. Wow. Alright. Um... Let's do this, right here. Uh, yeah, I like it, I like it, yeah. Let's, uh, let's attack. Found a Halan and Elena. Wow. Here said it can block Jix and live. Uh, wow. Wow. Um, wow, I, I don't know. <clears throat> um, so, thank God we have the Luka, because we can use it to kill Shieldred, right? So we do have five power boys on the field. All right, I'm I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. I also think I might end the uh, stream after this one. So thank you all for being here, by the way. And also, I guess while we're here, if you haven't already left a like on the stream, I, I hope you guys had a good time. In spite of wow, wow. Okay, that's uh, that's bad for us. Oh gosh, that's uh, one four, uh, one four. Seven, right? Um, one, four. All right, so let's block here, and then we take six, nine. That's so much, um, but fine. Yeah, fine. Wow. Wow. Oh, thank you, old Raging Bull. Thank you. L let's see what happens here. They drew a lot of cards there. I would assume they're going to sacrifice our Sentinel. Callus Sellsword. Uh, well, I hope you saw that. Good game. Oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, exactly lethal. Good game by Mythic Mike. Wow, all right. I, I won't end on that one since it was a, uh, a loss there. And, and you know, it, five seconds after I said that. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's play another one. But I'll, I'll try to find a, a, a nice W to uh, win on. Good game to Mythic Mike there. Um, yeah, yeah. Indeed, Lord Lazy. Yeah, that was a um, sweet deck. Happy to take that L. I, I wanted the win, but I mean... I'll definitely take that L over a lot of other ones I could have taken. Felt fair. Felt new. I like it. Yep. Uh, we'll, we'll get him next time. We will. Ugh. I wanted that time, but <laughs> we'll get him. All right. Let's, let's do this one. That survives the lightning helix. Let's see if they have get lost. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that's probably the biggest beat in history, so I don't know what's going on there, but 
Yeah, was it was it a lightning strike bait? Yeah, they did that post combat. Something something's fishy, boys. Something's fishy. Um, let's start by attacking. Canker Bloom, but we are not sacrificing it yet. <clears throat> I want them to use a removal spell on Canker Bloom. We're gonna put the stop right there. Um, wait, hang on. Good, the stop is there, so it'll it'll give me priority before the beginning of combat. Um, you know what? Let, let's let that happen. Let's let it happen. It's only gonna be a one power. Yep, we'll block with Canker Bloom. Um, you will get blocked. Uh, no, you won't. I was thinking by Paleontologist. The Wandering Emperor. All right, let's let's wait for them to plus on that thing. I'm not I am assuming that they're going to plus on that. All right, well, now that they did that, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, right, it has trample. All right, all right, yep, yep, my bad, it has trample. <sighs> all right, well, I think we can uh, maybe go after that. Royal Mana Fuck. Feeling awesome, by the way. Feeling super good about it. Wow, yep. And now I'll take it away. I just wanted to use it for both of those nice uh, explorers there. I'm assuming they block the four power. No? Okay. A random ass notification from Discord. Apparently it's imperative that I know that there's a discussion about <laughs> farting and bullying going on. Imperative. Um, no blocks. No blocks. Do we do this? Do we go Kami maybe into these things on it? Oh. Right to combat like that? I, I'm not, I don't like that at all, dude. I don't like that at all. War leaders call Wow. War leader's call. All right, let's start with this on Kami. Come on. Come on. Come on, get it. Oh, damn it. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Fine. Um, tribute. Um, do we want another Kami? It's so greedy. Uh, we have four now, right? So let's do this. I wish partners had a place in Pioneer, man. Hey, what's good, Reaver? Welcome to the worst Magic Race stream. Recognize your name. Happy you're here. Um, fucking oh, partners. Yeah, they're they're glorious. Uh, I'm gonna feel bad when I uh, can't use them anymore. Let's uh, block here. And here, I feel good about that. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Wandering Emperor, hang on. I feel better about that. Also, this poor guy's been on four lands for a few turns. I mean, we're at five. Thundering Raiju to this deck. If I had a little more uh, modification, eh, I mean, modification, it helps with it. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, the, the thing about Thundering Raiju in this specific deck with Defiler is that it's not a green permanent. Having said that, that that's a pretty simple switch for you to make. You know, maybe put in Silverback Elder instead, but Thundering Raiju could definitely be great in here, Alex. Um, although, you know, since it's on attack, it doesn't work quite as well with Halana and Elena because we'd want it to, like, you know, power up Halana and Elena at the beginning of combat. Um, but yeah, you could definitely throw it in here. But once again, I'd just remind you that um, I guess it could be good with Defiler, though, because it modifies all your creatures. 
that is that is a um a very interesting uh that is a very interesting card here. Uh nice you remember. Hell yeah. Had a nice draft earlier. Went wow. Six and two on a fight. Fucking congratulations. You got like four more months. Yeah, Reaper. Um it, it's rotating out in um in September, sadly. Um yeah, but I'm gonna use the shit out of it until it does. Boys and girls, that's gonna be everything for me tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ah, man. Leave a like on the stream if you guys enjoyed it. If you appreciate the testicular fortitude of sticking through that fucking ridiculous lost streak. Take care of yourselves, boys and girls. Take care of each other. Come back tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more of the worst Magic Arena stream. Like the goddamn stream. And bye.